Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video to share with you. This is going to be a little bit different for me. So it's going to be a little bit of kind of a chit chat and showing you some dupes that I bought. So I don't own anything from Hermes in my collection. Nothing like authentically Hermes. And here I'm going to be showing you two dupes I actually found through social media that kind of made me go, you know what, I should purchase these and see if I would actually use them in my day-to-day -day life before I actually take the plunge and spend that much amount of money on a real Hermes piece. So that's just my viewpoint on this. These are dupes, they don't say Hermes. I purchased one of these things from Amazon and another one from Etsy. So I am excited to show you. One of these things is actually a dream bag of mine. It is on my wish list, something that I have always aspired to get. And I think if I don't like this as a dupe, I don't think that I could justify actually buying it. So I'm excited to get into this video, but if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a vlog called The Gals Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful for you and I genuinely just love chatting with you in the comments down below so I'm so interested to hear your thoughts on these bags but so that being said let's get into the video so these are not Lillian bean bags I do want to say that I know that they those have been really popular on YouTube and I have thought about getting one of them but they are a little bit expensive for a dupe bag and I know people really rave about them. So if you've tried a Lillian bean bag, please leave that in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. But so I'll start with the less expensive kind of bag. I stumbled across this little cosmetic bag on Amazon and in no way, shape or form do I think that this is like looking like the real thing at all based on clearly the quality it has like a lot of indentations and stuff like that but for the look I know people have been like buying these and wearing them as handbags which I think is really like cute and fun I don't think I could get the real feel of what it would actually be like considering this one is not very well made and like doesn't actually give you the feel of like wearing it as a bag like in order to get this to like go on your arm you would have to like really push it down and have nothing in it so currently I don't have anything in it but I just thought it was super cute like I actually think the aesthetic of the look of it is really fun and like very minimal looking um, it does have like an H similar to the one on the Hermes bag and then I'll just show you when you pop this open there is a zipper and then in here it's just like actually a really nice cosmetic bag so I have been using this for travel and things of that nature and it's nice because like it's not really going to get dirty it does have like a little pocket here to put like brushes or something so I will link this from Amazon if it's still available in the description box below I just think it's really cute I don't necessarily think it's given me the feel of like the real version of the Hermes cosmetic bag I'm not sure what the actual name of that bag is but I just thought it was cute and fun and small and I really like the aesthetic of it so I think this was like $14. Next up I am physically obsessed with the look of this bag. This is the dupe of the Hermes Picotin and I got this on Etsy and it is literally stunning. So this is real leather and it has a gold lock here which is like kind of lightweight it's not like very heavy and the stitching everywhere on this bag is literally perfect it's so pretty and the color is like that gray kind of taupe but it has kind of like a maroon ish kind of cognac color lining I don't know if you can see that like kind of that piping there and then the inside is just like I actually have a like piece of foam in the bottom but oh it actually came with like the little tag which I don't have it on there but it's like a little fake key and it does actually unlock the lock which is cool but this is like just a suede kind of material it's just one big open compartment and so the seller's name is Blanc de Blanc 
or something like that. I'll link it in the description box below. But the seller has a bunch of different like Hermes style bags and some like Bottega Veneta kind of looking bags. It doesn't say Hermes anywhere. Oh, also it does have these really great feet on the bottom, which I really love. The thing I really want to gain from this purchase is to understand if I'm even going to grab for this bag. I am a crossbody girl. I always love to have a crossbody like feature. I don't know if this is a bag that maybe has inserts out there that I could add crossbody straps to if I did like actually buy the real one. But I absolutely love the look of it. Like just looking at it on my shelf is breathtaking. And the quality of this leather is really, really beautiful. And I just think it's so pretty. And I, I'm so excited to actually wear it and like see how to play with it in my wardrobe and see if it's something that I would even want. Overall, like there's really not much to this bag. You just like pull the strap and then if you unlock the lock, you can take that off completely, but you can really get into it without having to do that. So if you pull it, like the tighter you pull this, the tighter it's gonna be at the top. So like you could still get a hand in the bag though. So this is gonna be kind of like a hobo style. I'm thinking more like spring, summer. I'll be able to kind of carry it around with like jean shorts or something and just kind of get a feel for it. This is really, really, really lightweight. Like this lock is not super luxurious. So it's just kind of like a bare bones, light gold lock. It gives the same look and effect, but of course like it's not gonna be like the Hermes lock, but Oh, I'm sorry, here's the, the brand name, yeah, Blanc de Blanc. Not sure if that's how you say it, but I'm really impressed with the look and the quality. I would definitely compare this to like a contemporary brand piece. Like it doesn't feel cheap at all, which I really, really like. And I will show you just to give you an idea of like the size reference. So I'm gonna put my phone in there and like there is tons and tons and tons of room left. I have the 14 Pro. So you can literally fit so much in here. I have a giant water bottle, which won't fit, but just to show you, well, it will fit standing up, but like it's not necessarily gonna be something I would actually carry in here. You could get like a mini water bottle in there for sure, but I just really love the look of it. I'm really obsessed with how pretty it is. And what I also really like is the bottom is really flat and like stands up on its own. So really, really cute. I'm excited to see how this wears. If you want me to do an updated video, I'd be happy to share that with you. But I just wanted to do this quick video to show you these little dupes in case you are interested, in case you are someone like me that wants to kind of test out before actually moving into buying Hermes, which would be a dream for me. But I understand that's not everyone's thing. So no judgment. This is a judgment free zone. But I appreciate you watching if you're still here with me. That is going to conclude this little video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much again for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.